Women only have head hair, apparently. Women don't have hair anywhere on their body but their head, you frick. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Women do not have hair in their armpits. They do not have hair in the crack of doom. They don't have hair anywhere else, apparently. How can you be old enough to have a Twitter to add... To, saying that Twitter is probably one of the stupidest places you can ever find anyone comment on anything. But how can you be this old and have such a stupid opinion or comment? What an absolute idiot. Send this person to Garbage Island. If a girl is breastfed, is she more likely to be a lesbian? Well, that is what this guy wants to know. Saw this post and was floored for a minute, like, what the frick? Boobs literally only exist to feed babies. That is the entire point of them. The baby is just hungry. And some absolute uneducated skid mark had this to ask. If my baby girl is breastfed, will her odds of being lesbian increase? How do I make it stop? Yeah, that just sounds like pure science. That's obviously how people become lesbians. My wife and I just had a girl. Oh, that's nice. Our first was a boy. He is now three years old and he was breastfed. I had no problems with the breastfeeding. Now with my baby girl, I figured out she would be breastfed too. I had no problems with that until I saw her being breastfed. It's been about two weeks and I can't get rid of this feeling that she is going to turn out to be a lesbian. I mean, obviously that is just absolutely tragic. I hopefully the person will see this video and he will send me his address so I can set up a GoFundMe so he can get the medical help he needs for being an idiot. She really attacks my wife's boobs more so than my boy when he was a baby. It just doesn't seem right. And I can't help but wonder if this is how lesbians are made. <laughs> Look at this. I fear she will be a lesbian if she isn't bottle fed. Imagine being scared of your daughter being breastfed. I mean, Jesus. Is this an act of lesbianism? I'm pretty sure the mom isn't having some intense feelings of pleasure breastfeeding. For her then to question herself that she might be a lesbian. Should I stay pissed at my wife for what she's doing to my child? The arguing is getting intense. I hate the idea of someone's nip naps. <laughs> being forced in my baby girl's face. This dude is an absolute idiot, and I'm an idiot for calling a girl's breasts nip-naps. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Everyone loves a good Tinder profile. Today we have Philip, 26, amateur alcoholic, <laughs> hilarious, and mini golf professional. I previously lived in a vagina for most of a year. Somebody, somebody come and get Philip off the streets. This man must be absolutely drowning in girls right now. Lived in a vagina. Oh, God. Obviously, he's talking about when he was in his mom's uterus, but I mean, like, come on. Goddamn hilarious, bro. Never trust a Philip who has two P's in his name, because you might run into this guy, and he's an idiot. Hey, welcome back, guys, to another video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today, we are looking at bad women's anatomy. It's a place where people just don't seem to know how women work. That's that's basically the gist of it. It's just another light-hearted video, so I hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, you can like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Just comment anything down below when you've experienced someone who's just an absolute idiot when it comes to how the body works. So yeah, with that being said, let's just let's just get right into the video. Shoulders are too sexy, so cover them up, ladies. Our bodies aren't distracting, you're just disgusting. High school student calls out school dress code for being sexist during assembly. Yeah, I mean, what the hell even is up with that? Like in school where like girls can't have their shoulders out or wear skirts, but guys can wear like shorts with a whole dong just flying around freely. I mean, personally, I don't really care, but like, it's just like, wh why is it such an issue? And I mean, you do get some absolute creepy teachers who are just like, oh, today's gonna be a great day. Teenage shoulders, and I haven't even had my coffee yet. Also as well, if a shoulder gets you all giddy, then I, I, I think you need to get some help. And at the same time, they're underage shoulders, so you probably shouldn't be around in public. I mean, it's one of those. I think it's like if you're dressed to go to school and not dressed like you're going to go out for a nightclub party, then what's really the issue? Like, who cares? If you're comfy or comfortable in those clothes and they're reasonable, then yeah, just wear them. To be honest, half the time the teachers I had in high school didn't know what they were talking about. I had a teacher who taught geography, and previously, he was a fireman. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, wh what was he gonna teach me? Pubic hair is due to censorship. Oh boy. Why is female genitalia in movies always hairy? <laughs> Watching movies and occasionally spaghetti scenes, I notice that actresses always have spaghetti covered by hair to the point that you can't see them, especially in 1980s movies. Was it all a censorship thing? I mean, the reality of this question is because it's from username Nintendo fan 2008, I imagine. This kid is like, what, 14? He's probably got all his women's anatomy from, like, adult movies. <laughs> I mean, I imagine this kid just thinks that every time, like, a girl starts going through puberty or something, 
instead of like looking down and seeing just like perfectly normal hair, she's gonna see like a big black censorship bar. I don't know, that <laughs> that was a dumb joke, but at the same time, it's kind of sad that this kid probably has found this all out from watching adult movies. Lesbian birth control. Yeah, bro, I did the nasty with a lesbian, lol. Did you use a condom? No, she's a lesbian. She can't get pregnant, bro. The thought process that is going on here is something else. I can just totally imagine this guy getting a message saying that she's pregnant. He turns around and goes, nah, you're a lesbian. You can't get pregnant. The kid's not mine. Found in the wild. This is a new one to me. Short women tend to be more fertile, which is why men are more attracted to them. Since when? Since when was this ever a thing? Show me the science behind this logic. I don't think I've ever had a conversation with anyone and they've been like, yeah, I'm with a girlfriend who's shorter than others because I know she's going to be able to be more fertile. Like, what even is that logic? That is so stupid. That would be like me saying tall couples are more likely to give birth to a child who has an interest in giraffes. Absolute idiots. It took me five minutes to figure out what the frick this meant. Notice how the men's feet are pointing compared to the women's. I have absolutely no idea what this means. Are we, are we judging people based on how they stand? and how their feet point. I mean, are we saying the woman over to the left is a man because her feet aren't pointed forward? What? Has it really gotten this extreme that we're looking at pictures like this and being like, that is not a woman, that is a man? <laughs> what? What even is this? This is probably gonna take me longer than five minutes. What do you guys think this is? Shampoo and cold water during periods equals bad. Here are five things girls should take care during period. Number one, don't drink cold sparkling water during menstruation. Um, okay, whatever. Uh, number two, avoid applying shampoo on the head because the pores of the head are open during period and cause a headache. So it's very dangerous. And this can be cut when you're young or later when you get older. What the hell? Who wrote this? What even is that logic? But number three, avoid eating cucumbers during period. It What causes sap in the cucumber may block period. Blood loss in the u uterine wall and may cause ster sterility? What are women now to some people? Like a tree? What the hell even is this? A, it causes sap. I'm just going to skip number four because it's stupid. But number five, drinking ice during period can cause menstrual blood to remain in the uterine wall for five to ten years can cause uterine or tumor cancer. Please distribute this information to many women. Well, there you go, guys. Don't eat cucumber because you'll be a tree and you'll produce sap. Five to ten years as well if you drink ice water. The who, who is this stupid? Absolute skid marks, whoever wrote this. That is going to be enough for looking at stupid people today, guys. I, I don't think I can deal with any more people who just have no idea what they're talking about. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you all next time.